Sound resumed. Okay. But we're missing Davy, I believe. Yeah. Actually, have really basic. Okay, we're live. This, uh, ZTC we're magic. team. So. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I and currently angry I know that, uh, we I know are here back hops, again, of course, and this, with COD1, and it's the first know, round, and we know. will be bringing you ZTC versus Fnatic. Now, we're just waiting for one Fnatic more member of the Fnatic this, players to get on side, and then okay. we'll be underway with down. this round, and uh, playing MP Harbour, so it certainly seems to be a good situation as far as Fnatic are concerned. I'm guessing going into this day would be the favourites based on the previous track record, but it's we'll have to wait and see what happens. What do you think, Rev? Yeah, I would think that uh, Fnatic showed something against the top teams, but uh, I we, we haven't really covered any of the uh, ZTC matches, uh, matches, so we really don't know uh, what Fnatic are up against, uh, and I believe actually that Harbor is only the the bash map. So after the bash, uh, they're they're uh, selecting. They're making the, choice, yeah. Exactly, uh, Snark. Is that true? Uh, Harbor will be the preset map for this round, if I read the rules correctly. Okay. So uh, it will be on Harbor. The question is just which side you start on. And, All right. Uh, it should be preferable for both teams to start Axis, but uh, I think what we've seen so far is that if you're just a good enough team, you can manage to make it work on Allies as well. So it wouldn't be like the most deciding bash, not like it would have been on Dawnwill, for example. Yeah. Okay, fair enough then. So it's just a matter of waiting for everybody to get ready and you know so as a as is the meantime we basically have to fill dead air with random conversation while these guys get themselves organized i mean you know let's let's face it the, the internet does not have a a massive history of everybody getting into the server at the same time on time it's just it's, <laughs> it's just one of those weird things that never ever seems to happen the only and the only time i've ever seen it happen is for mountain blade so you know, but that's that's a different discussion <laughs> entirely. But anyway, uh, both these teams won uh, one game respectively in the in the group stage. So uh, hopefully they both got good practice there to put on a good show for us now. Definitely. Yeah, indeed. Uh, like I, as as I said before, I can't say which team is like the top contender in this matchup. To be honest, we have seen Fnatic playing against uh, Superman. They did quite poorly. They, I, I think, they got four rounds on Novel or something, but they got zero rounds against Who Crew, uh, which arguably uh, are worse than uh, Superman on Novel. So I don't really know uh, what uh, ZTC is all about. Uh, like in in the preparation, I know that Hobbs did some mixing in the time before the tournament, but I don't recognize any of those names. I, I know that Slash played in the before time. Uh, he played for teams as uh, my ZTC, but uh, they I, I don't think they practice at all uh, compared to the others. Like it's not even close remotely close uh, so i expect to uh fanatic to win at least with a margin of five rounds or six rounds to be mm -hmm. honest from what i've seen but as i said before we haven't seen ztc playing yet so we will see how they do yeah i mean they're an unknown quantity as far as we're concerned so they were also the Sorry for interrupting. The the last team to join this cup, they were orig originally a uh, sort of backup team in case other teams couldn't make it. Uh, mm -hmm. So it was a pretty short notice, I think, for them to 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 get into the tournament. And I'm just really happy to see them here, especially like Norwegians Absolutely. in uh, in in Call of Duty franchise are not there are not a lot of them, uh, and to be able to have almost a full team here, I I don't know. Uh, the countries on all of them, but there are a lot of Norwegians in this team. Uh, it's pretty cool, I think. Yeah, absolutely. From what I understand, um, 
I think uh, most of them are Team Norway, with the exception of MTS, who is, uh, um, I think, Team Belgium. I could be wrong. But anyway, um, everyone's getting ready to go. We don't have all new regions in our team. <laughs> so, to be honest, they should be used to all the snow on this map. We'll just have to wait and see how it turns out for them. Um, oh. And I think everyone's, with the exception of QWERTY, everybody is ready. And we should be underway on MP Harbour very soon for this uh, round one. And it's going to be interesting to see whether or not uh, ZTC can bring it to Fnatic or whether or not Fnatic will find a comfortable spot and uh, essentially lock down the enemy. It's a matter of time. We will only find out once the game has begun. So uh, there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we are beginning with the first half. MR10 is the mode, and we're just waiting to see what happens. Yeah, Chad, I believe that uh, we go for the bash round first, and then we Excellent. are starting. Yeah, uh, it's, uh, as Dirk said, it's a uh, tradition. Yeah, like, uh, it's already set up uh, from before that Harbor is going to be the first uh, the first map in the in the playoffs. So oh, nice we know, training. We know... Uh, we know about the map, but we don't know about the sites. And it, on Harbor, it's really important to get that access site to get the most of the rounds. Yeah. And the nading has begun. Well, there's some nades and there's some uh, nice uh, <laughs> pistol butt going on right there. There's, uh, <laughs> yeah, there's uh, definitely a few things went wrong there, some of the... You can see Yo, it just browning. And there, there you and go. waiting for them to bash him. Okay, so Fnatic will uh, choose obviously Defense. the exit side. Yeah. It's not it's not MR12. Uh, it is MR12, Stark. Uh it might very well be that would make sense since it's the playoffs now that mm -hmm. we, we play a few more rounds. Uh Okay, uh McFly says that it is indeed MR12. Right, well, the teams are now all getting underway, and you can see, basically, already out with the pistols. But why is there no ready up mode? Hmm. Okay, let's join the team, and then go back to Spectator. Alright, so MR12 uh, gives a few more rounds for the allies, especially to work with, try and find different solutions to unlock the defense here. Um, but it could also be a, a nightmare if you can't find your, your ground early on uh, and just keep banging your head into uh, an axis wall. Yeah, it would definitely be the case. Now, um, obviously, everybody's getting to the server. Everyone's readying up. I think Fnatic should be ready to go. The observers at TC are good to go, and we should be underway very soon, we hope, as this will be MP Harbor. And, of course, the inevitable world of Nade spam. Welcome to the world of Nades. <laughs> we sent over very quickly into corridor the corridor of death. of death. Yes. And it uh, will be interesting to see how that works out for everyone. So it you is, can see, see the Nades is, going but, in already. But I don't believe that uh, both of these teams practice. And I don't believe the reign of Nades is going to be as effective in the, uh, as in those matchups that we have witnessed before. Yeah. So there was always a team like Team 54 or uh, Superman who did know what to do with those nades. I don't believe this is going to be the case in this matchup, but who knows? Maybe they will surprise us. So yeah. let's see. Fnatic against ZTC. Uh, first round of playoff. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how it works out for both these sides, obviously. Playing the Russians is ZTC, playing the Germans is Fnatic. And we're going to sort of start off with the, the Russians as they make their way over. And, of course, there it is. The wonderful nade going over the top. And you can see them coming over, getting getting some distance on them. But it doesn't look like they've had any, any picks there. But it means then that the Germans have managed to get in towards one of their points. And get themselves a pretty good defensive position. And now they're engaging with uh, ZTC. Sticky gets taken oh. down very quickly. 
And Anders gets taken down in return by Davy and D Doku also taken down. A nice snipe. Norway's and Jopo and wow, holy crap, that was wow. kind of over fast. I would never expect uh, this type of uh, aggressiveness from uh, ZTC, but it worked out pretty decent as well. The nades weren't as good as Superman or uh, Team 64, I would say, but they still managed to make it work. So, good yeah. game by ZTC. Yeah, watching a few nades coming over the top into the uh, uh, Valley of Death. Oh, nice kill into QWERTY. That's going to really hurt Fnatic. And now Fnatic are moving in towards the uh, defensive position with that first gun. And it seems that uh, here come here comes ZTC moving in. They've uh, not managed to lose anybody yet. Correction. Down goes Thwiffing and Davey gets taken down as well. And another member, Sticky, going down with Slash also being finished off. So at this current moment, it's 3v2 to ZTC. Um, a definitely an interesting situation as far as the uh, ZTC guys are going. Jopo looking for an opportunity to get a kill. He does into Anders. Kills him down by one of the crates now. It looks like Norway gets taken down by Hobbs. This win. Oh, Bit of an unfortunate aim kill there. Uh, ZTC had uh, a good opportunity to, to get their second round on the board, but... Uh, yeah, a bit, a bit of a miscommunication, I guess, there. Yeah, very unfortunate. Team kills. That's the thing. Friendly fire isn't, basically. Not very friendly at all. So, the nades go over. Over the top of the buildings. Oh, lovely throw right into the centre. That was a beautiful throw. Coming in and more nades going. They've really got the aim for, their, for the nades. And that means that the Fnatic team are going to have to be careful. They're moving into the defensive position as they're getting towards the point as fire is coming in. ZTC oh. trying to push forward as quickly as they can. Griffin and Norway's both taken down by Davy and Sticky. So Sniper on A, I like that. Yeah, it's uh it's definitely Oh, down goes Slash as they try to push up there. Jopo and Doko also now taken down. Gotta be very careful, Fnatic on a pit. Wow, Sticky taken down by Hobbs. Now, Davy and QWERTY remain. Hobbs is taken down by Davy. It's all on Anders. It's all on Anders. Oh, oh good shot. Destroys him. Davy destroys him. Yeah. That was unfortunate, really. But, uh, you know, that was a, uh, a tricky situation. But definitely, I have to say, impressed by ZTC against Fnatic so far. Yeah, like the ZTC are playing on the, on the more difficult side. And I would say those were all pretty close rounds, to be honest. Like, it, it could go either way. So hey. I'm kind of surprised by ZTC. Uh, let's see what they can do. If they can snatch four rounds, they're in a really good advantage, I would say, going into the active side. I noticed Fnatic now being very aggressive. Uh, up in the upper office building now to... Trying to put some pressure onto them as Lash and Hobbs get taken down. Quirky gets finished off as well very quickly. And now they pull back to a more defensive position by the gun. It's uh, not looking good this time. Aww. ZTC really suffering from the murdering that came in from the likes of Fnatic. And you can see Norway's at this current moment being very careful because it's only him and Anders. Till he gets shut down by Jopo. And now it's literally all on Anders again. Poor Anders. Out with a PPSH. Oh. And murdered by Sticky with a pistol. That's just harsh. But at this current moment, 3-1 to one in favour of Fnatic. So Fnatic are in control. But ZTC definitely um, proving themselves to be a force to be reckoned with at the moment. I like uh, I like a lot of what ZTZ is trying to do. Uh, not that nade in front of your own guys, perhaps, but uh, they they play together. And uh, as an Axis player, like it's it's easy to get stressed out when you have like four guys rushing into you uh, from uh, alley. Uh, this round has slowed down a bit, uh, although. But uh, what they did the, the previous rounds when they played together, I think that could be working in the long run, even if it didn't work out all these rounds so far. 
now watching uh, another fight in the office building here, courtesy of Fnatic and uh, ZTC. Now, one thing I did notice is Fnatic being very aggressive out of the bomb point up into that upper building. Uh, so to kind of block off any attempts by the ZTC guys to make their way through. You've got Fnatic Davy looking for an all-important pick. Sticks gets taken down. And now it's a situation where you have one, it's Hobbs. Poor old Hobbs all on his own. Yeah, Dealing Hobbs on one HP. On one one HP, oh dear. Poor Hobbs. It's just a matter of time. But he gets taken down by that side. Wow, you can hear the bullets just winging past his head right now. Hobbs is in a difficult position. He knows he's going to get flanked from both two directions. So he's trying to basically keep his head on the wheel and essentially stay out of trouble. And sadly for him, Davey finishes him off. And there's another round on the board for Fnatic. Three to one, four to one, I should say. Um, interesting. Interesting uh, play there by Fnatic being very aggressive out of the point. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry, pausing to cough. Um, so That's over all right, the again. Into the Valley of Death and uh, looks like they may have got some damage onto the Fnatic guys as they move in towards the point. They're moving in, they're getting into the very nice position. Yeah, that's actually where I'm being pushed. Oh, oh Kurti! Like wow. Wins. And Kurti, 4k for him. The nice, the big push from the ZTC guys. Impressive. Very well placed. Yeah, Kurti did a, doing a lot of damage there and uh, just getting into the right place at the right time to do the most important murdering that was required to poor members of ZTC. However, we shall wait and see how things work as we look at the Valley of Death again, just to make sure out come the nays, doing a good job of doing some damage there onto the onto the Fnatic guys as they now move into a defensive position. And they're being quite... Wow. Nice shot onto Sticky thing. coming in from Slash. And uh, now you can see oh. them... Being very careful, Hobbs with a good shot on Sigwerty, and now you can see them starting to push forward. This is where they're going to start to get a little bit aggressive, which is exactly what they did. Doko and Joko, oh, and Davey taken down. A great push there by ZTC. They're going to be pleased with that. What do you reckon? Yeah, I would say that this was uh, like they hit the shots that needed to hit in order to get the run, but uh, expecting a clean sweep. I would never bet my money on it. But uh, if uh, ZTC can get one more round, maybe perhaps two, they are looking good for the next side. Yeah, definitely. The nades come flying over into the alley, and uh, it looks like you've got members of uh, Fanatics trying to be sort of... Well, they're being a bit more cautious than they were last time, but they're trying to get into sneaky positions to get all the important picks onto the enemy. Let's see if we can find out. Now, the thing is, obviously, because of the fire coming from the office building, we got Thrifting, who's being a little bit more cautious this time. We got Sticky with a sniper rifle, looking for those all-important picks. And you can see Jopo working towards. Oh God, we've lost Doko and Davy as well. That's another push in there, as the allies have been eliminated. Wow. Uh, Rev, how how? Uh... Uncommon is it to see a sniper on A on Harbor in, in today's meta? It's impossible to see. I would say only in a mix PCW, whatever, you would see a sniper that is not normal because it's always more adv advantageous to have a rifle with two nades on A. Um, hmm. It's but just Stick is making it work. But Stick is making it work, so good for him, you know. Yeah, so we're now looking at the uh, the A pointers. The uh, Fnatic boys are getting into position, getting ready, looking down the length of the corridor. Fine nade coming in from Anders onto Sticky. That's going to cause them a problem with their defensive position. Now they're looking to try and get an outflank position onto him. And now the members of Fnatic are trying to defend themselves. Down goes Griffin, down goes Jopo. And this is going to be a difficult situation. So at this current moment, Fnatic are down by an extra person. They've got to be very careful. 
Yeah, they have the advantage kill. right now, and Hobbs and others have uh, taken two more down. This is me. The Fnatic are down to Curity, and Norway's is taking down Curity, and this is the third round for Z ZTC. If they can manage to get the last round, I think they're in a really good position to get uh, at least seven rounds on the extra side and win this matchup. But it's still MR12, right? Yeah. Oh, it's MR12. Oh, I'm forgetting that. I'm, I got so used to MR10, so... My bad. Oh. Out go the nades as Fnatic managed to survive the rundown Death Alley. And uh, it looks like uh, they are in the process of being quite aggressive against the allies who are now coming under a bit of fire. Down goes uh, Doko there as well. More fire oh. coming in from da into Davy. And it looks like they're going to be going for the last man over by the gun. Oh, thrifting and taken down by Jopo. And Anders also being killed by Jopo as well. And the, the Fnatic guy is doing a good job of defending the point as Slash gets taken down. Qwerty also gets murdered by Hobbs elsewhere on the map. And now it's just a matter of waiting as Hobbs, oh, Thrifty and Norway's gets taken down by the sniper rifle of Sticky. And Sticky's going to pick up a PPSH, give himself an extra bit of extra firepower. But the question is, is where is Hobbs? Is Hobbs in a strong position right now? No, he's not. He's taking some fire. He's got to be careful. Got to try and go in for that all-important pick. He's being very careful as he's moving up. Attempt to get a shot onto one of the enemy. Oh. And he's trying to do those shots. And a fantastic shot from Hobbs into Sticky. That's basically suppressed the sniper. And he has time. Yes. Joe Poe versus Hobbs. One me too clutch for Hobbs. Really important round for his team. Yeah, very important. And uh, six to four now. And so we're going to be looking at, I'm guessing, uh, team changes soon or side changes. Let's see, six to four. Yeah, we'll get there. But we'll wait and see. So let's just see as the grenades go over from Dead TC over the top of the buildings into the Valley of Death. Road the grenades and more fire coming in and you can see that the members of Fnatic are looking to lock down that bomb site as quickly as possible so you're gonna have sticky obviously acting as sniper to basically get the guys to keep their heads down while they're where their teammates basically will move in and try and sort of outflank them and that's I think the direction that they're going like you said it's not often you see a sniper at a So fire coming in as we're looking oh. at another kill into Doku and Thrifting also gets yeah, taken down by Sticky with a fine sniper shot. And at the moment it's in Fnatic's favour to basically just sit and wait because they know for a fact that the Allies will have to push. So uh, what do you think? What do you think? Do you think ZTC are going to try and get a little bit aggressive maybe? They've got to be careful. They gotta try and uh, and close the gap to the sniper here. Like it's basically just running to the sniper and getting him. If if, if they can get a hold of Sticky and kill him, it's open way to a. Perk is on a good lurker. You're gonna get them in their back soon if they don't see him. Oh, bad on bad timing there for Query. It was a good attempt. Yeah, now that's the thing that they've got to watch out for. Is uh, now. There's three of them moving towards the sniper. So. Oh! that shot was insane. Yeah, Sticky with a fantastic sniper shot down the main corridor. And uh, now he's in a bit of a difficult position as he's coming under fire. Got to try and survive and still finally his lash gets taken down by Joe Poe. And the allies have been eliminated seven to four um current scoreboard this round right here will be super important for the rest of the game uh whoever gets it will be satisfied with their half exactly since yeah. it's mr12 that means that if you get a half that is seven to five as an allies you would be satisfied eight four is kind of like 
you're not super competitive, but I would be satisfied with eight rounds and a half. And Anders gets taken down almost immediately by Quirk, and more nades coming in onto the defensive position of the uh, Fnatic team. And you can see, yet again, the nade party is still being brought. And I noticed that they don't appear to have Sticky in as Sniper on the A point, so maybe they're feeling a little bit more confident. Try to draw the XTC guys out, uh, get them into a position where they can be taken down. As uh, Davy takes down his lash as he was moving in through the boxes. Now it means it looks like, yeah. Oh. Fnatic then started to get a little bit more aggressive, Clean, push up and finished off. Brother. Finished off Hobbs and Co. So yeah, eight to four. Wow. This is anyone's game right now. Uh, it's uh, a really close battle between two pretty close teams, I would say. Yeah, I would say you you can't get closer than that on Harbor. Like the uh, the scoreboard says one thing, but the reality is that uh, it's all open. I don't know how ZTC are going to behave on on the exit side or how Fnatic will behave on the LA side. But on this previous half that we witnessed, I I, I would say it's all open. Even though it's eight to four, I would say it's all open. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how the XTC guys see if they can push the advantage that being uh, in the axis will be for them. So it's going to be um, interesting to see the position that Sticky will take if he can get himself a sniper rifle, whether or not it's, he's... It's actually picking the sniper rifle, and, and that is almost even more uncommon to see than on the axis side, I would guess. Yeah, it's ridiculous, I would say. Well, I guess we'll have to wait and see. On, on Axis, I would understand, but on LIS, it's ridiculous. Nades coming in to the Fnatic team as they are making their way out towards the point. And there we go, Fnatic Sticky in with the sniper rifle. Looking for and, those all-important nice picks. Yeah, and David Noko already on the A side. Flash nice Noko, but David trades him up. Sticky's got to be careful because he's in danger of being outflanked. Oh, right. Sticky gets him in the end. It's a free free situation, so David plants the bomb, and now the CTC guys have to retake this. Hobbs it and Davy. Yeah, you can see them moving in. As Norway gets taken down by Sticky. Oh, Quirky gets Anders. finished off by Anders with a nice Destroyed, sniper shot. Man. Another shot coming oh, through, yeah. and there goes Sticky. They're going in for the defuse. This could be a, uh, a definite good moment for them as far as they're concerned. Come on. Axis win. There we have it. Wow. That was pretty intense. So, the possibility of a comeback, what do you think? Certainly. It's on. Certainly, it's on. It, like, it, I can't really put my finger on anything. Uh, it's so close, so every round can go either way, so it's possible. It's possible, definitely. Yeah, we just been watching the nades fly over to Death Alley and uh, doing some nice damage onto the uh, the attackers as we're watching Fnatic Davey trying to cover the left flank as the uh, right attack there. Fnatic Jopo taken down very oh. quickly as Doko also taken down and you can see QWERTY also being finished off. So I think the attempt to uh, push in towards the A-bomb side has been successfully shut down as Davy takes down Norway's. Now you're looking at a 3v2 situation. It's dependent on what the thing and uh, Anders decide to do. You've still got Fnatic sticky with the sniper rifle and Davy being very careful looking for those all important picks if he can get one. That could essentially free up. Oh, but Anders out. with a backstab. Very nice. Now, all out on sticky full HP. He has both a long range weapon with a short range weapon. Takes oh. down the first, but gets traded by Anders immediately, making it the seventh, I guess, no, the sixth round for ZTC for the Norwegians. Yes.
So. What uh, Fnatic will be able to to abuse if they find out is that uh, CTC's nades in alley are not that great. With a good spawn, they will beat them, and that can can give them some rounds if they start to realize. Yeah, so you can see hey, that. Chopo and Oko are just running to a plan. They're just mainly running. You can see there. Basically, we're watching uh, ZTC pushing in towards the A bomb site. Now taking fire, they've taken down Sticky very quickly. Um, and now as a result of that, it looks like the attempt by Fnatic to move into the point has stalled somewhat, but they're still pushing very closely. As more fire comes in and Slash gets taken down, Doko then gets taken out as well. A lot of corpses around the uh, A-bomb site. Planted. As Davey and his teammate Jopo are supporting the Eni. The situation is tense, looking for that all-important pick. Seeing if they can get it over. Davey? Look at that. Oh, Davey! Oh, Davey, wow. important to Frax. Important to Frax to win the round for Fnatic. Very much so. Oh, sexy, man. <laughs> that was sexy. To be honest, that, that, that was sexy. I like that a lot. Yeah, that was an important moment as far as uh, Fnatic were concerned for Davey. And so we're looking at a score of nine to six currently in favor of Fnatic as uh, the nades go over from HTC into the Valley of Death. And uh, we'll just have to wait and see. A few nades doing a little bit of damage, maybe, but uh, it looks like uh, the members of HTC are coming under pressure already from Fnatic on the point. We're looking at Slash waiting. For the and inevitable Lash, push. Lash is ready for Doko, but Doko is doesn't want to pick out so easily to get the kill from Ops and Slash actually playing a tag team in that A uh, plant scenario. Ops is getting down, but Doko trades in Italy. He doesn't know that Slash is still there. There is one player trying to get an advantage over the team, but it's a 3 one great for the Fnatic side. And Slash may may have taken down Doko, but it's still Jopo and Sticky. Sticky planning down on B side, and Jopo acting Explosive as a safety pointed. pin for him, with Slash trying to crush this down in a 1v2 situation. And actually, Sticky takes him down with the help of Jopo, and it's a 10th round for Fnatic. That... What Fnatic did good that round is they did a split attack, so they, they put pressure from both sides of the map. Uh, so when, when the A attack was shut down, they could easily just uh, go for the B as an object for this round instead, uh, and also put a lot of pressure on the guys playing in L turn. Uh, they, they had to watch out for the, for the guys coming from under garage. Yeah, you can see now again the ZTC guys making their way down the Valley of Death and uh, we're watching as they're trying to put a bit of suppressive fire and it looks like maybe the Fnatic team are doing a little bit of a roundabout uh, move position on the, uh, the A point. It might be that they're moving to one of the other points. We'll have to wait and see. In comes Jopo taking down Slash. Uh, PPSH doing the damage as per usual. And it looks like they'll be in a position to maybe put the bomb down. More fire coming in as Triffing gets taken down. And Norway's also finished off as well. Down goes the dynamite and the axes have been eliminated. Another good round on the board there for Fnatic, only losing one man. It's starting to fall apart a bit here for us to see. Yeah. Never an easy thing. Never an easy thing to come back from a, uh, a deficit in rounds, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see if they can actually manage to pull it off. So, over we go the nades into the Valley of Death. Good nade positioning, by the looks of it. Let you see immediately move into position. And getting into caught up in a bit of fire there. Sticky Deck's taken down, then gets uh, murdered, so uh, Slash gets murdered. Now you've got Zoko in there in a strong position, having a little bit of a firefight with the enemy. Nades going out to get them to keep the head down, and they'll be oh. in a strong position. 
down is going to go the dynamite any second. Excellent. Oh, oh. Davey taken down by Anders. A great shot there. Nice, nice. And now the pressure is on Anders. He's got to get in there and defuse that if he possibly can. So really, all that's going to happen is Fnatic's going to try and push that point. And this is where Anders has got to be very oh, careful. Spotted the guy behind the back table. But Kurt is ready for him. This so, means the 12th round for Fnatic. Yeah, uh, ZTC's tournament life is at stake here. Uh, they need to win six rounds in a row to get this to overtime. Wow. Yeah, that's going to be a big ask, without a doubt. So uh, we'll just go and check on the Valley of Death as the grenade party is getting ready to arrive. As uh, nade placement seems to be quite good for Fnatic today uh, in the alley and uh, doing some damage and some annoyances for the guys as more nades come flying in as well so you can see the members of uh, ztc oh, Hobbs gets taken down scope with engage what nice sticky doing the sniping duty as other members of ztc are trying to hold that bomb bomb point pressure coming in as davy looking for maybe an important pick if he can get it onto the point out goes one of the nades Oh, no, right, this is right, Sticky. Sticky gets taken down by Norway's with a sniper rifle. So, uh, counter snipering going on. Always good to see. Norway's then gets taken down by QWERTY, and now we're in a situation where Fnatic have lost only one man. Norway uh, and Hobbs from ZTC are down. And down goes Anders as well. So, a sticky situation here. So, slash and flipping. The only ones left standing for ZTC. More fire coming in from the likes of Slash. Trying to put as much fire, but also giving away his current position. And now we're watching through Jopo as he's making his way uh, and by the side. Darfrin could be a joker in this position on B plant. Like, there is Jopo approaching it. Win. That's GG. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Fnatic taking it there with a round score of 13 to 6. So, what do you what are your thoughts on that game overall, gents? Uh, I gotta say, I think Sticky was uh, man of the match here. He, he made a very unor unorthodox pick of the sniper work on both sides. And I also saw some rounds where he just pushed like a madman with PPS opening up the a site completely for his team so I, f I think he was he was the key to the victory uh but also as a team i think fanatic uh, 